Hello and welcome to this week's webinar. Uh, there's lots going on at Beyond uh, with many of our indicators uh, showing some quite significant changes. Uh, so before I begin, I'm just going to read through a brief uh, disclaimer. Uh, so please uh, uh, feel free to read along as well. Uh, Beyond Trader LLC is strictly a research publishing firm. The information we publish is based on our opinions plus our quantitative models, statistical and financial data and independent research. This service is not registered with any financial regulatory agency, such as the SEC or any other organization or governmental body. By using our platform or our services, you acknowledge that we do not provide personalized recommendation or advice. Alternative asset classes are volatile investments and carry significant risk. Please do your own research before making any financial decisions. Okay, so. As I mentioned in the beginning, uh, there's lots of things going on with our indicators, and I believe that we're setting up for a very, very uh, big week uh, for Bitcoin ahead. Uh, so with that said, uh, let's take a look at what's going on uh, with our indicators. So if we have a look at uh, Beyond Atlas, uh, which is one of our flagship indicators, and as you may already know or not know, uh, this has an inverse relationship with price. And basically, Atlas has turned bullish now. It's crossed underneath the threshold uh, that is needed underneath uh, 100. And it's now around about uh, 99.46. If you follow beyond, uh, you'll know that I've been watching for this to uh, really have a, a nice and gradual descent as the price of Bitcoin starts to move higher. So ideally, what we want to see is Bitcoin moving towards maybe the 120, 130 area. And we're not yet in the green zone. In case you didn't know, uh, we want... The, Atlas to be in the green zone, but not so far that it's falling as it might give uh, some type of signal uh, that the market is ready to reverse and that the trend has ended. However, we've seen Bitcoin has had a nice uh, move up this week, uh, moving from around 93,500 to around 105,000. And we haven't really seen that much of a major drop in Atlas. It's been moving down about 10 points every day, which is absolutely perfect. And this is exactly what we want to see. So in order for us to kind of um, uh, get the uh, the strongest possible buy signal. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we need to be somewhere near into the green zone. Uh, what happens in the green zone is that typically Bitcoin starts to go into a tur into a turbo charge move. If we have a look after the election period here, and let's try to kind of like home in on this period um, after the election, uh, we saw that Bitcoin uh, moved. Uh, uh, significantly after Beyond Atlas moved into the green zone. And from there, uh, we basically moved around 50% uh, percent higher. Uh, so now uh, we're not in the green zone, uh, but Bitcoin is moving back to its all-time high. So that obviously has implications, and that could suggest that we might be moving somewhere close to the 140 to 160 region if we start to uh, really start to ramp higher this week, and this is moving towards the green zone. So this is a really, really uh, good sign and I think the broader point that I want to get into is um, all the time that, that Atlas is moving down, uh, then uh, the momentum for Bitcoin is surely going to be up. So do keep a, a close eye on Atlas moving into uh, next week. And we feel that it could be a very, very good week for Bitcoin uh, based on what we're seeing with Atlas. If we have a look at Ethereum, uh, which is uh, a cryptocurrency that's really moved a lot higher this week. It's also turned bullish. Uh, you can see that this has moved underneath the 100 threshold. It's now uh, 99.64 after a long time. Uh, this indicator was moving higher as the price dropped. Uh, so like I say, you don't want to trade against Atlas. You want to trade with it. And you can see it's, it's almost a perfect inverse uh, correlation there. And once it crossed above 100, uh, we could see that the downside accelerated. And now we've got the opposite happening. Uh, we're now uh, below 100 and we've got this uh, really nice momentum. So uh, I would say that Ethereum also looks like a great trade next week. And again, uh, we've got a strong buy signal and we're not even in the green zone yet for Ethereum. So uh, we could have bundles of upside left there. Uh, moving on to our other indicator, Vanguard. And this is going to leave some um, explanation here for me as to what is going on uh, uh, with uh, Vanguard on trading view uh, we have a 2.0 model uh, which uh, tracks uh, what's going on in real time uh, but on our website here uh, you only basically see uh, that we have uh, the the um, 
uh, the closed candles. Uh, so they only register a new color after the candle has closed. For example, when the 12 hour closes a new uh, 12 hour, uh, we will see what color that is. Uh, so even though we're seeing the weekly here in orange, our 2.0 model on TradingView, uh, which tracks the real time price closes, is now showing uh, green. Uh, this is a huge, uh, significant event for Bitcoin uh, because the last time uh, that Vanguard uh, turned to green, uh, like I say, it coincided with the Atlas signal and we got a move almost as um, as high as, um, or gained as much as around 50% uh, for Bitcoin. So now as we open the next week, as long as we trade above 99,000, our 2.0 model is going to tell us uh, that Vanguard is going to close uh, next week in to uh, the green area and that could be very significant for bitcoin because we could be on the cusp of a major major bull move and if you see every time this indicator starts to flip it's uh, you seriously do not want to be trading against it so it really does look very very encouraging for uh, bitcoin uh, going into next week um, uh, based on vanguard alone and we're also seeing uh, the other really solid time frames uh, like the 12 hour and the three day are also generating strong buy signals uh, right now so the uh, the momentum is really to the upside at the moment. If we want to have a brief look at Ethereum, uh, just because it's been an outstanding cryptocurrency this week and also because uh, we've just looked at it on Atlas, uh, we can see here that uh, things are starting to improve and our 2.0 model is also showing a flip to green for uh, Vanguard for Ethereum. So I just wanted to put that out there and you can see that we've been engulfed in orange and uh, uh, red for some time here. So uh, I, I do want to point that out. And I think it's very, very encouraging uh, the fact that we're uh, also seeing this on a weekly time frame uh, starting to flip. So uh, do bear that in mind in your trading next week and the lower time frames uh, that we monitor very closely, uh, such as the 12 hour and the three day have also started to generate uh, some green uh, buy signals for the first time in a long time. And um, I would say uh, we haven't seen that uh, since February and now things are really starting to change. And if you have a look at our three day Vanguard, it's really captured the move um, uh, very, very perfectly. In fact, after it started to flip to green. So uh, yeah, uh, very, uh, very, very um, encouraged by what's going on. And I think next week uh, we could definitely expect some more upside as things go. If we have a look at the long to short ratio, uh, which is something that I've been pointing out for a while, uh, we've been engulfed in this short squeeze for the market. And like I say, if the if the retail is shorting, it's very likely we're going to have the opposite effect. And that's exactly what's going on. So, so all the while uh, we see this massive short squeeze going on, expect Bitcoin higher prices to come. Obviously, it's a psychological factor. Uh, Bitcoin for some months now has been moving lower. Uh, traders don't believe that the price can move higher and it keeps moving away from them and traders keep shorting them. And it has uh, this cascading effect, uh, which is why we like uh, the long short uh, ratio. Having a quick look at Ethereum. And uh, you can see uh, that basically Ethereum doesn't have such a extreme short bias but it does historically now have more than a normal short bias and we can see the inverse relationship playing out there very nice and we can see um uh, that uh as things stand it does look like ethereum is going to head higher uh, because retail are, are trying to short this so um, again a uh, very encouraging stuff uh, so uh, moving into next week i think the general theme is that crypto is going to move higher and um uh, certainly, uh, we feel that we're going to see uh, new all-time highs coming and then some. If you're interested in Beyond, uh, we have now got an AppSumo campaign, uh, so you can check that out on there if you want to subscribe. And also, uh, do check out my daily newsletters if you want to keep informed on Bitcoin on a daily basis. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you again next week.